guys all over Dunsil. Who will be the hero? Who will escape with a victory in game number one of the finals? We have 4.3 seconds remaining. Everybody and his mother standing up here at the Big Dome. They go to Evangelista. Evangelista turns around. Oh yes! my goodness! Oh! What a shot! One to play. One more second to play. What a shot! Alan Evangelista, who has sat down this whole first half because of foul trouble, scores probably the winning basket for USD, 13 points. We'll see. Let's go to Coach Norman with one second to play. No, listen to me, Matthew. Oh. This is you. Um, you're out of the game. Jai, come in. Jai, Jai. Jai, Jai. Jai, this is you. Mackie, this is you. Okay? As soon as he hits the ball. Sorry, Mackie's in bounds. JC. JC, Doug. JC, this is you. Let him go, Doug. One, two, three. Come hard this way. Not this way. Oh, exactly. And now Ateneo is being called. Jai Reyes will be sent back into the ball game. We all know why. It will all boil down to this one. And second. you've got a small inbounder in Maki Escalona going up wow. against a six foot five Chester wow. Taylor. Normally you have a big inbounder. Normally in situations like these you have a tall inbounder to make sure he gets the pass over the defender. Here we go, folks. Ateneo with one last play. They go to Doug Kramer, Ateneo! Oh, oh wow. What a play! Oh my what a play for Ateneo! What a play by Coach Norman Black! I cannot believe how this turned out! What a finish! Oh my lord, TJ! This was an but amazing they, turn of events! Did the refs count it right away or do they have to check it? We'll see! Normally they check it we'll on a buzzer see. meter. And Maki Escalona, who has struggled awesome all throughout the game, struggled with this assist, found the open Doug Kramer. Let's look at the time, one second. And oh, it's good. It's good. By far, by and, far. And again, how many times has Doug Kramer shot a crucial jumper or undergold staff for Ateneo at the end of the game? Wow. What a shocking Unbelievable. turn of events. Unbelievable. This is college basketball at its finest. And Ateneo goes 1-0. What a play by Coach Norman Black. You've got to credit that oh, play. Yes. Number one, the gamble of putting a small Maki Escalona, but arguably his best passer on the team to make that difficult pass. This you, is USC, the young team that they are, they just did not execute defensively and they didn't communicate on that screen that Doug Kramer went down to give the screen. I'm sure she's not the only one in tears right now. This is an incredible finish to game number one and we'll be back to wrap this baby up. Woo! Welcome back to the Ananeta Coliseum as Ateneo de Manila University celebrates a one-point win with one second to play. Jervy Cruz, a monster game, their first loss with him scoring 20 points. Doug Kramer pulling it off and Ateneo celebrating an exciting game one win here at the Big Dome. We cannot begin to describe how the last few seconds of this game evolved. Incredible finish. I mean, you, you hats off to USD for that awesome shot, fearless shot by Alan Evangelista. By Alan Evangelista and the awesome play drawn up by coach Norman Black. For it to be ashamed of for USD, but in the meantime, is there any debate on our Nokia best play of the quarter? Look not, at that. Whatsoever. Sitting not whatsoever. Sitting pretty underneath free for the under goal stab to win it. Doug Kramer, an incredible assist by Maggie Escalona, and he is in tears. The Nokia best play of the quarter wins the game for the number one ranked Ateneo de Manila University who are up